Wacha msikia story nyingine. Je, Jojo Mambo? Kwa sana. I want you guys to hear something. Hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are ready. Joan, welcome to Vote TV Mambo. Kwa sana Nelson. Ebu ambia tazamaji na watch kutoka hapi? I'm watching from Kenya Riru. Guys, wacha niwaambie hivi. The story we are about to, to have right now. You'll cry. It will break your heart. It will shake you to the core. Pali ulipo kaya chini vizuri. Sit down. And just listen to what we are about to be told. If your mother, especially if your mother, how many mothers do we have to? How many mothers do we have here tonight? How many mothers do we have in the room tonight? I won't even say anything. Joan Kujapa, talk to us. Hi, hi everyone. My name is Joan. I'm mom to three. Mm. And early in 2022, I realized my daughter was being defiled by my neighbor. So. Oh my God. I approached Julianda Policy and yeah, we started off the journey. But ilikuina tingika tingika, people are being bribed left, right, and center. And I approached Nelson. Nikamambia, eh, kuko hivi, kuko hivi, mimi ata mwenye anani, anani attack, anajua siko financially stable, nyo mana anani attack to that point. So, Nelson aka pull one, two, three st strings, na nikanza kusikizwa, like, prosecutor wakata kuchezia kesi, mwenye alikuwa nasimamia prosecutor wa thika, I think, haka change or something. And kesi kanza kuenda vizuri. Remember, Nelson, I was here when? 30th, I, I texted you on 30th, September, 30th August. August. Yeah, and I told you to menda judgment imetolewa mepatikana na three accounts. So, uh, so, actually, uh, so wait, wait, Jojo, jo, Joan Kidogo. Ni mangapi, wajua kuna, wajua gidongo pia ni mushkila. Amesema, my daughter was defiled. Do you people know what she's talking about? I repeat, Amesema, my daughter was defiled. Do you know what she's talking about? Okay. Joan, yes. and, and, and sorry, 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 mom. We're going to give you a lot of love tonight. I know it's a very tough story. Um, um, uh, how, how old? How old? How old? How old was? How old did you find out? I mean, how old is your daughter? Skizeni, Skizeni, listen. Old. Skizeni. That's the part I want you to pay attention to. She was only two years old. attention so the fact um uh uh joanne on the 30th of august I the court, she, yeah she was found guilty of three counts what she was what which three counts was she was she found guilty of defilement mm. child abuse and Improper act, indecent so, act, which is actually yes, that's great. Defilement, child abuse, indecent act. Connect, connect. Ingetaka wambie. Maybe kujio kuna tu ajui kesi ya kesi yamto yamto tawako. Um, um. And by the way, it's 
tell them the name of your of your daughter. She is called Jaylin Jabet. Jaylin. Do you have to ask a how did it come to the point ya kwamba your neighbor alikona defile mtoto wako so i had given birth to my last born uh, normally i give birth normal, uh, through the normal way but this time i did cs so the bill was still pay me overwhelm finances they are not financing like zilikuwa tu zinapigana chenga yeah so she was the only one who used to come through for me. Umekula mami, nishi wacha nikushikie mtoto waenda lala. Cuz my kid mm. alikuwa with the, the newborn. Mm. Alikuwa mm. gana colic, sa zingine alali the whole night jumi mwenyewe sijashiba. Mm. So sitoi maziwa. Mm. So yeah, that's how she came to be close with my kids. Mm. Yes. Let me ask, now, now you guys, you see now your eyes are popping out, exactly. It's a nimonamke. See my name? Nimonamke. Yes. She clear up. Joanne, um, as we continue, um, and by the way, if you, if, uh, it's this case, me, I know, the, I know, I, I mean, I know this case, and this is one of the most heartbreaking cases I've had to deal with. Let me, if you want to take a break when you're talking, just let me know. Maybe you can have like a glass of water or something, and then we and then we continue. Okay. So, so do you, do you? Yes, Mashaga Wanjiro. Yes, she's a lady. Okay, twenty-five. So that's how she started to come to you. Watch 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 as you heal. Continue. So, on the twenty-fifth of May. My kids were being dedicated on January 23rd, so I went out to buy for them clothes for dedication, the white garments. Mm. When I came back, my kids, my son was like, Auntie Maggie was here, but I was like, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I was cooking, she came to my house. Kachapa story kama kawaida and she was like after a while akaniambia si niende na Jebet asalimie baba yetu she's married apparently si niende na Jebet asalimie baba yetu the, the the guy they were staying with used to work at mill bakers so akasema kuje na keki mm Innocently, I said, Nisawa. My cousin was there. My cousin asked me, Wewe kwa ni ujono umsichana natuwa mtoto ulimi kwa mdomo na kiss mtoto deep kiss. Nikambia shiko, miya tasa hivya nye nimechoka. Kuna kitu mezaona. Ebu, kama ni hivyo, wacha. Andi, my cousin, my male cousin was around. Wacha ende mtoto. And ata kuka. Nikambia ebu ende ya mtoto kwa magi house number six. Kufika, haka knock. Sezo ndiyo, I think, magiali kwa memtua stoki na menza kumungi. Sezo vitu and stuff. Aki ita mtoto. Aki ita mtoto. Mtoto anasema, niko hapa kwa meza. Anti magia menieka kwa meza. And my cousin naka mskumanisha waka ingia. Kachukua mtoto and they came. So, when you alikuja, we noticed the skin tight ilikuwe meshukishwa. I think yo harakati ya kuhu chukua mtoto hakumvalisha skin tight so when my cousin asked ndo akatwambia auntie magia alikuwa ananiingiza vidole huku akinilamba kasusu okay it's okay i'll mute first it's fine it's fine guys as we wait
You okay? So akatuambia nti magia alikuwa anamuingiza vidole huko ndani carrot akim mlamba kwanza alisema alikuwa na al, she was like literally demonstrating what she was doing so me was shocked me kazi na kakwa like don't go kidonda yako ijapona uwezi enda vita saa hii usiku it's quite loose was my my cs was septic at that time so nikaambiwa siwezi siwezi enda kupigana hivyo ataniganga jua na jua week point yangu at that point atanichapa nianze tena kurudi hospitali kushonwa that's another expense so i waited for the kids dad akafika alikuwa anafanya nyanyuki kazi at that time and i told him na kaniambia will wake up in the morning because saa zinu za chukua sheria mkono ni mwako upate mnafanya mna cancel wrong and wrong mtakuta unasamehea huyu jua kujifile mtoto wako ndio usipelekwe ndani juu ya assault tukamka asubuhi we took the kid to the police station tukapewa tukaenda na polisi hospitali the kid was examined tukaambiwa the upper minora ilikuwa ga ime okay. tulemba tu basically no hymen upper minora sijui ilikuwa imefanya nini she was bruised alikuwa na discharge so it means it was frequent and i remember some time back when i had a house help before she left alikuwa ameniambia um mtoto anatoa vitu huku chini nikamwambia because she was your age ya puti nikamwambia make sure na ushapoti vizuri inaweza kuwa poti ndio inafanya hizi vitu zote. Mm, 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 mm. So hata siku concentrate on that nilimwambia tu osha poti because girls we are sensitive. Mm. So this time niko husi naambiwa inaweza kuwa nizo objects alikuwa anisatiwa because she was given very high antibiotics to heal that to cure the the the, the, the type of infection she had. Mm so tukarudi and that's how the case ilianzia gosh be strong man i know it's i know it's tough but you just be strong um again to all the viewers can we uh, can we can we shower joan with all the love that we can right now I know this story for the longest time but every time I mean when she talks about it it takes me to the first day she told me about this case Mama Jaylene we love you know that here everyone is listening Thank you So Nelson on, on on the 30th i left it at that mm. after the 30th i was called by a probation officer and mm. i was told to avail myself in thika mm. of which i did i went to thika we talked the probation officer explained to me the protocol and why she called me mm. and i was straight to the point the kid is still undergoing counseling because with such sometimes anakaga na niuliza mom mbona mimi anti magindo alinichagua na kwa plots kuna watoto wengi oh gosh na shindoga kitu ya kumwambia mm, 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 mm. sometimes inafika gayo time ya counseling mm. i just break because if you Nelson, if i tell you if you see whatever my daughter draws akiambua draw whatever makes her angry you know that kid is angry oh gosh so we were supposed to go back to court for the sentencing on the 17th i remember i told you 17th october mm. but it didn't happen that way so the probation officer i think ilimshika mahali akani kola kaniambia sasa mimi na kwa na kuibia hii kama siri but kesi yako ni kama watu wamekulia oh, gosh 
sentence imepeanwa na haukukua of which it's not supposed to be like that kesi mbili zimetupiliwa mbali hiyo defilement na child abuse ameachiwa na indecent act indecent act inasemaga not less than not less than 10 years nelson hata mi when the probation officer asked me i said categorically as a mother kama kungekuwa na venyata angekosa kushikwa lakini ya roho yake i change acha kufanyia watoto because this is the kid to mejua how many other kids amefanyia uko nje wenye wazazi wao hawajui how many other kids okay and mama jailin huyu mwanamke she is married she has a husband correct Yes. So let me ask you a question. Does the husband know about this? The husband I th yes, the husband knows. The husband comes to court. The husband has been to prison. The day Alishikwa before she sent for me Mongikis the husband had come to try to tell me to pull down the case that they can pay me can and they were very about... categorical say you could broke sit to pay pesa hii maneno iishe nikamwambia mimi hata nikuwe broke ama nisikuwe broke nelson a lot of kids wanna grow up with bitterness and hate because such old. things happened to them when they were young and nobody addressed them they didn't seek counseling others get even hiv and aids and they can't tell their parents because they know they are not sexually active mtoto akikuwa mkubwa ndo anaanza kusema alishika at birth na wewe unajua hauna mtu wako hana so ni hiyo time ya defilement yenye alinyamazia hakusema So the, so the husband was approaching you was approaching you trying to give you money let me ask you money. which brings me which brings me to the next statement could it be possible that both the husband and this woman were defiling your child the doctor said there is a possibility because a hymen cannot break with a finger a hymen cannot break with a carrot yeah it can with a carrot but with a finger it can't because you remember when we were in kenyatta alitolewa a piece yeah uko ndani i think it was so i remember the doctor was saying there is a possibility but since mtoto may insist sana na anti magi because the kid was very categorical Nelson even if you call tomorrow even if you call another day the kid mm. will still tell you and that's what she said in court because mm. i remember the first time he went she didn't talk because the accused was there she was so afraid akimona she starts shouting the second time she was still there and she didn't talk the third time um the, the, there was an activist called Logan Christ mm. she said it is not even an environment for a kid the way they are handling the case they are not handling it as if they are dealing with a 2 year old kid they are handling it as if they are dealing with an 18 or a, even a 10 year old unbelievable. kid unbelievable because the environment was not even friendly anyone who knows Thika court 9 it looks like a toilet very dark so at a mkipata na if this one is for instance this one is my this one is my kid this one is my kid they are like this one angaliana so there is no yes, privacy gotcha. so my kid akimona anapiga nduru so ndio one of the police officers he was very helpful at the third time yani fanya mtoto onge alifanya the room to be friendly baby friendly that's right Okay, it's a two, these are two year old it's a two year old baby i mean we have to think about this i mean you know like the thought about it like the thought about it as a father the thought about it as a mother just makes you sick 
these are two year old for Christ's sake continue mama Jaden. okay she he made the room friendly that time the accused was not there judge alkwame sema we do we take a break and if she'll not be able to talk up like a children's psychiatrist so mm -hmm. police i can make friendly i can make a friendly environment i can pair soda can pair sweetie and the kid now started telling telling the police the police was asking pole pole mommy ule anti ya metoka pa mbono umeshindua kuongea kambia polisi anko unajua anti magi alikuwa nafanya hii na hii na hii na hii and then the police broke down alilia a whole man cry alilia tu absolutely akatoka then tukona judge amerudi so i think alienda kambia judge umtu ya najua kenya na sema juni mem oji bila anyone to take a moment, anything, and the kid was talking, was telling me why she was not talking right. and why she doesn't want to talk when Auntie Maggie is here. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. So the judge came, the accused, like a feature, and the kid talked. Imagine a whole mama, the lawyer to that woman is a, I can call her my shosh because she's really old. Mtoto mm. amesema mm. statement and then she's like when you linkizo hizo vitu lisikiaje Oh gosh come on man what this uh, woman on, man. she might be doing her work but the questions she's asking my kid is just out of it ati mami when you linkizo hizo mkono na carrot ulisikiaje ati na wewe mbona ulikuwa na kisa anti magi sani kole why would you even ask such questions already when when you know convict who may confirm total who may confirm total ali kisiwa so at a, without anything in this intact uli kiss mtoto you yourself have confirmed there was kissing without even me saying my statement you have confirmed there is kissing at kuongea and we continued and the judge atakuwa a verdict ya judge ilisomwa on the 30th the judge alisema without reasonable doubts the kid was very confident a lot of there was trauma in the kid that's right yes there was trauma in the kid akiona the accused mm. so without any reasonable doubts mm. they, a kid of such an age cannot lie and say confidently ingekuwa ni mtoto amekochiwa hangekuwa constant because she was unaona ile mtoto ukimpea sweet atasema alifungua sweet ndio akaweka kwa mdomo she was going step by step alinitoa skin tight ndio akatoa suruali ndio akafa she was very very detailed. straightforward that's right so ingekuwa ni kitu ya kukochiwa ingekuwa anasema hii anasema hile you know yeah Yes, yeah, so Nikambo imetupiliwa mbali, amepewa 3 years in prison instead of all those accounts. And then awakuwa ananiambia that's why I asked the prosecutor today I was in Tika Nelson. Okay. And I asked the prosecutor, why didn't you call me? Why didn't you call the lawyers? Because the prosec this case Fida has the case. A, a mzungu activist has the case so why didn't you call either of them if maybe you didn't want to talk to me that's true why didn't you call them and tell them by the way sentencing is happening it was supposed to be on the 17th but maybe the lawyer of the accused because she's not even an accused at that point mm. requested of that but akasemati lawyer wa accused to insist here on that day Nikamuliza Nelson when we are checking the files they have gone to court four more times without us Oh my god Four more times without us And Nelson I'll tell you for free on in September August on August someone close to me the, a, a man who married my sister, one of my sisters, had a case in court and it was, she, he was a bank manager 
and money got lost in between. And the, mm -hmm. whatever they have done to my case is what was done to my brother's case. Because aliambiwa, he, he, alikuwa mepua sentencing the same way. Na mtu wakasimama kotini, haka jifansha na watete, alafu mushu haka mfuata inje. Haka muambia, you can give me money, I go and see the judge, muta reduce your sentence. And that's what happened. But last sentence ya 20 years in prison, haka pewa 2 years, na neza lipa cash bill. Na hivyo ndo alitoka. Welcome to Kenya, man. Now, so is, is, when is it a, I was wait, told uh, Akiya Mitolewa hizo zingine mbili na mepua three years the Same way Same way And it's the same court, the same judge, right? No, the, the judge changed during the last lap We have we have a different judge The other one was taken to Milimani so, Mama Jaylene, here we are. On the 30th of August, when you reached out to me, I was so happy because we knew she was found guilty beyond a reasonable doubt for A, defilement, B, child abuse, and three, indecent act. So actually, looking from all those charges, I was expecting from the sentencing, at least she was supposed to get minimum 30 years. Minimum. Minimum. But now she has gone from 30 years plus to only three years. You are told that they, of course, they, she kind of managed to buy her freedom. Yes. Let's come back to this couple. Do they have money? I don't know. Uh, apparently, after that, I knew they had money. Because the way they were dashing money to everyone who can help them in that case, mm. that's when I came to know they have money. How much, how much did the husband try to offer you so that you don't I take them to court? I didn't even give them a chance to, okay. to but he tried. tell me. Mm. Yes, he tried. Mm. Then I told him, wait a minute, let me call my husband. Mm. I told my my husband, there are people here who want to talk to you. Gotcha. He said, wabaki hapo nakuja. Mm. When he came, my husband told them, Mr. Kipesayen, you just tell me how my baby can get back to the state that she was in. Because mm. as at now, mtoto wanaskio chungu, mtoto wanauliza mbono memfanya if she can get back her, virgin, her, her virginity, her mental health, and I'll say achilire. And they didn't mm. have an answer. That's when, after my husband left for work in Nyanyuki, that's when Mongi's keys were sent to my house. Okay, that's a part that I want, to, I want us to come to. I want, us, I want you to talk about that. Um, there was an attempt on your life they sent Mungikis to your house. I want us to tell us when it happened and how, I mean, what, what, went, what, what went on on that day? So we came, um, it was on Sunday evening. I was cooking, so my kids were like, Mommy, my husband had gone back to work. He used to work in Nyanyuki, so he used to come maybe on the weekends and go back. Mm. Mami kuna wageni kwa mlango na wako na mapanga. And initially I had told my kids not to be opening the door to anyone after that incident. But my son being a boy, alifungua. So, mi nika kitoka mbio kwa za vede ni membu wako mapanga and I was there. They were trying to bully their way in. You see I have a big body so that's a plus for me. And I asked them, Nataka nini? But I mean, you went neither went to a magi by Kesho before I end the Kotini. Ama Takufa. I just slammed the door on them, Nikafunga Kila Mahali. I tried calling for help. It was too late. 
my mom couldn't come hata kama angekuja ninge risk mamangu kukuja watu wajue mali anaishi ninge risk hata mali inaweza jificha so i called my husband akaniambia ndo amefika nyanyuke akaniambia kenye utafanya funga juu funga chini pigia polisi the police apparently we are taxpayers but the police don't have a vehicle in our area so they ah, come, come on come. oh come on man Wait 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 How do you expect me to pay for you Uber to come rescue me? Nikikufa mtoto wa pigari akukujia mwili wangu na watoto. And I'm telling them wote walikuwa na panga. I was trying to tell them everybody who was in my door they had pangas na ni mamungiki because you could see from venye wameka nywele. Ati madam wajifungie eza kujikonsole kujikontain nani mpaka asubuhi hakuna kitu tutafanya This is crazy bro uh, they, this is they clearly sent mungiki to come and kill you they, yeah. they sent mungiki to come and threaten me to pull to pull out the case uh, how many what How they were like around seven because the ones I saw on my door were four. Then William one of my neighbors, others were on the stairs. When you know the stairs. Nikauliza then the next morning what were picky picky me. I normally I I'm normally friends with anyone because cause your work does not determine you who you are. So I called but wa pikipiki wa kukua that day. So in the morning wenye nilikuwa nimepigia walikuja street kwangu. Wakatuambia watoto watasiende shule juu. Wanaweza fuata watoto. Fanya hivi. Dress up acha tusimame hapa tukungoje. Dress up beba kenyo na beba tutapeleka vitu kwenyu because they know my place. Tutapeleka vitu kwenyu wengine watano wakupeleke police station you report. That's right. So that's what they did. Waka divide piki piki wasijue venye tunaenda. Others wakapeleka watoto home na vitu. Mimi nikaenda na wengine watano police station. Nikio police station I remember asking the madam venye ni report na they refused to write for me an OB. Madam, when I'm Zazi, why would you refuse to write for me and OB? Yet I'm telling you, people came to my house. Nama panga. I called yesterday at night. You did have cars to come and rescue me. That same same lady texted me that night. Nam tu ameishi kwa fai kukuwa na simu. The madam told me atini right ya mtu kukuwa na simu. Then why did they take it from her when I was there? If it's someone's right, kukuwa na simu jela. Okay, more than... Majelini, you, you got water? You want to get some water? When I drink water, my I have asthma, so my chest will block. Okay. To other viewers, I'm going to put a poll on the screen.
I'm going to put that poll right there and you can see it on your screen. And the question is how, how is this story making you feel? This is a mother who's fighting for her baby. And it's so unfortunate that a mother, a mother who's fighting for, for, her, for the justice, for her own baby who has been defiled, has to go through all this. So now that they've, they've dropped two charges, you have, you have a, there's a white activist who's, who, is, who is involved in Jaylene's case. There is, a, you call it, is it FEDA or FIDA? There's FIDA, there's the activist, yes. Has there been any attempt to appeal the court decision? So that the other two Today, judges can be reinstated. After I came from after I came from Fika, I tried calling the activist and she she's in Geneva at the moment. Mm, okay. She's in Geneva at the moment, so the time frame is a bit tricky on our side. But I called FIDA and FIDA told me to because they were checking on the pothole. There's a pothole you can check. Yeah. And all this, whatever we are saying, apart from the charge she was, the sentencing, the rest has Zico. It's just showing they have gone to court four times. So Fido are saying there are some things they are hiding. Oh my God. There are some things they are hiding. Okay. Which is clear. So there are things that they are hiding. And... Did they suggest like the best way forward? Have you had, did you have a private, listen, okay, now looking at everything, I know, and let me actually, let me actually, let me talk to the viewers first, and I always keep telling people here, there are so many things that I do behind this camera that people just don't know about. For example, with Mama Jaylene, this is actually the first time where we are talking publicly about this, the case of Jaylene in depth, because I tried to stay away from this, I didn't want to bring this case to the public when it happened because I was in shock myself. The day when, I remember when Mama Jaylene came to me, she was actually begging me for money to go to court because she didn't have any bus fare. See where I'm coming from? We've got, that's like, she's like, she's like Nelson. I have to fight for my child. I have to go to court. I don't even have a single penny for bus fare. That's how we started. And this, this, is a, this is such an emotional story. And every time we talk about this story, Mama Jaylene, it just makes me sick. I'm sick of our justice system. I'm sick of our, I'm sick of our country. I'm sick of our country because Bribery, you can bribe your way out. The weak, the so called, the poor, they're just second or third class citizens, citizens in this country. Exactly in our town, poverty and greed. The level of corruption. I mean, if Mama Jaylene, if you look at this, um, do you know? Do you know? Who, do you know? You, the, your story reminds me of who? A couple of months ago, I was here fighting for a young baby. Who remembers Kadogo? Yeah, who was raped and killed? Yes. Who remembers <laughs> fighting? Who remembers the way I fought here? just to stop the funeral. Who remembers that night? Who remembers? And by the way, guess what? With everything, with every piece of evidence pointing out that the step-grandfather was involved, that the step-grandfather was the one who did it, with all this evidence, still, 
no arrest, no court case up to now. So it's like, you, you know what Mama Jaylene, it's like in Kenya we have this thing, when you say, when we, something happens and we are crying justice for, we don't get justice. Justice, justice for Jeff. There was no justice for Jeff. A young mother, I mean, this year has been one of the crazy, I mean, this year has been so, we've had, I've had every case here. Remember Eric, the 22 year boy who was killed, 23 year old boy who was killed? Yes. Do we know who the killer was? Yes. Has he ever been arrested? No. Jaylene, that boy walked to court Walked to, walk to the police station, walked out, and has never been seen ever since. And I'm having a mother who's still up to now, who's crying out to me. Nelson will ever get justice for my, for my son. Yes, Rose. Yes, that guy has never been arrested. He went to the police station, walked out, that was it. This is kind of for you, man. She has a son of which Nilikwana most of the time because she used to work Nilikwana Mkalilia na Mtoto. She has one kid. Mm. And I remember there's a, there's a time I mentioned in Kambia Mtoto wako na shindaga kisema Father Francis. Uko sure Father Francis hafanyu mtoto kitu because I've heard stories in Catholic schools. Father wana sodomize wa Toto. And come on, be as much as um to which one an essay, Babam to Toaco, a boom and be angalim toto, my when you jangalim toto jew, the way an ashik exam of the Francis, he for the Francis Subaru, you to a Subaru, there's something to twice young Liliam too, even for so long, come a kuna. And she was like, Apana, come any summon me, come here too as a mother, because me, I'll be concerned. Nimpeleke hu. Si angaliwe kama kwa sawa ni sawa. Because hakuna mtu antakia gamtu mabaya. Kama yu kwa sawa you know the way forward. And she was like hakuna kitu kama yoneza fanika. Nika sema since mtoto si wangu. Um, there's nothing I can do. Okay so now something else. There's something else I would like to ask you. Um, Mama JD. We suspect that the. Even the doctors, when when your daughter was exam, examined, the, we 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 suspect the husband was also, you know, they said it could be it's possible that even the, the husband was defiling your baby. Yeah. Was the husband was it was the husband ever charged? No. No. The the doctors said that, and it is in actually one of the doctors because. We went to how many different hospitals? Four different hospitals. Mm. And the doctors were with the same conclusion apart from Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. Which Kenyatta, I, not I think, I'm sure they were compromised because Nelson Kenyatta is a very big hospital. Yeah. When I tell you a big hospital, I mean a big hospital because in 2014, I lost my son outside Kenyatta. Yeah. I was coming from a small hospital. They had called Kenyatta, but Monyali Shika, Sio Monyali Kwaga kwa receiving emergency. My yeah. kid turned color white kwa emergency. Anafa ku receive you, but wana rushania, na ati mtu anapigaga simu, mtu anafanyaga. They were throwing words at each other. Nilikuwa ni mebeba mtoto alikuwa kala purple and the kid turned white on my hands. Oh, they didn't gosh. tell me my kid oh, is gosh. dead. They took my kid, wakambook in, oh. wakamweka juu. Nikienda six kuangalia mtoto ndo naambiwa nisishike mtoto. Na shindo other kids are moving. Why is my kid not moving? Why is my kid white? That's when I found my kid is dead. So, Jaylene, Police ya tuja report tunenda Kenyatta. See, we are entering like normal people. That's Do you know tulipata madaktari wanatungo jea? A big hospital like that, a kid can die when they are looking. But this one for defilement, you find doctors are waiting for you. How logic is that? How logic is that? And they really tortured me because 
a normal procedure si ni kuingia kuangaliwa to go home they made me sleep there i have another kid to take at home they admitted me forcefully forcefully telling me they'll do a procedure called examination and anesthesia quite early in the morning so the io was to tenda to tarudi to mepewa garia police because i remember in courts i highlighted i said e process yote it's genius because I'm financially unstable when you keep on telling me enda kuja fanya kuja police wanakuambia ununue chai ndo wakupeleke hata hizo examination me i remember i used to tell them sina pesa if you feel like you'll do it's okay if you feel like you won't do natupilia kesi god will know how to deal with it na mimi nikipatana na yeye ni kisu mtakuwa mnakujia mwili i remember there is a point i just told them that you know what do you next time I will kill her mukujie mimi na mwili tumebe kwa Maria mwenye mnaga. I told them that. So one Ayo who was very good people say she's naive and stupid but me I took her to be good because Cotinia alisema this man financially we are draining her because I have gone with her in counseling sessions. Cuz counseling ya mtoto ina cost 3500 Nelson. Yeah, yep, yep. You imagine yep. your time. Mm. Na hiyo time mm. alikuwa anaenda counseling mara mbili kwa wiki. Yeah, Alafu bado polisi akwambie ulipe uweke gari mafuta gari ya wananga we used to take cars from Juja. Juja oh police God. station. Oh my God. So the court ikawaambia nisitishwe kitu yoyote na tupewe gari na dereva. that is how to end up Kenyatta so police akamwambia usijali tuko na gari ya serikali iko na mafuta tutaenda turudi wakakata mpaka they call i remember they called like 10 more nurses in the room so me i'm like wow this thing is serious i'm confused i've left my kids without anybody cuz i knew ni kwenda hosi na kutoka so i'm confused sina credit ya kupiga tiniambia watu waende wachukue mtoto watoto I was so confused Nelson I was crying yani you would really tell I was disturbed I was crying I'm confused I don't know what to do ikafika 6 I tried and put myself to sleep ikafika 6 they're not calling us kwanza usiku wakamtoa this is the pelvic wakamtoa damu hapa na shindano kubwa Nelson a very big needle wakisema wanaenda kuangalia ati kama akona akona damu naumza what is examination and anesthesia i have google and i've seen what it is i have asked several nurses akuna mali anafanywa procedure so why are you even removing the blood jesus naambia madam wewe si daktari tulia tulia mimi nanyamaza but Nelson if you could I remember we talked with you mm-hmm. that time I was confused mm-hmm. I looked like a mad woman I had neglected myself if there was a time I normally look at myself and tell myself I'm a strong woman it was Absolutely. at that time Absolutely. Remember, you are it was still so at that time that I broke up with my husband because he never used to understand what I'm going through it's tough that's right so At that time I was confused. I looked mad. I also I remember there's a day I came out of the house. I stayed in Kimbo. I walked from Kimbo to Roiro town without shoes. I realized I don't have shoes when I'm at Roiro. Axel love to you. You're a strong woman. You're a strong woman. Hug and love to you. Stay strong. I swear to God, she's so strong, man. She's so strong. She's so strong. Mm-hmm. 
it's Mama J, it's Mama Jaylin. You know the thing is always. Sometimes I look up and I tell God, I thank God, I thank God for this platform because I've really had to confront cases that are such a huge wake up call. I mean, to the entire humanity. Last year, the same thing. I was just in my car, I was driving. I, I woke up in the morning. It was a beautiful Sunday. I woke up in the morning. It was, it was such a beautiful Sunday morning. The sun was shining. I stepped into my car. I'm play. I'm playing the mu music out loud. The roof. The roof is open. The windows. I open up the windows, and then I. The, my phone rings. I pick up the phone. And I will never forget the the cry I heard on the phone of a mother who was telling me how her three-year-old boy had been killed. And that story, I'm telling you, it will remain the top three most emotional story I've ever covered on Vote TV, what I had to go through fighting for that case, a three-year-old boy who was killed by her friend. And that boy was Davy. And the way Davy was killed was, you know, um, if now actually we're talking about Jaylene because Jaylene, Jaylene is two years. I mean, just look at all these cases that I've had to deal with, right? Jaylene is two years old. Kadogo, two years old. Unfortunately, Kadogo now is, she's not here with us. Kwanza Kadogo, Muliona, Kadogo alikuwa mechomo, amerepiwa. On top of everything else that that monster did, Kumchoma. That's why I keep on saying there are those pictures that I'll never I'll never put out. But this is Kenya. They're still walking scot free. Right? Mama Jeline, you're so you're such a strong woman. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question because this is something which actually took a toll on your marriage, Mama. Mama. Mama Jaylene, are you and your husband still together? No, we you are co-parenting. You're co-parenting because it was too much. Yeah. It took a toll on took a toll on the marriage, guys. Again, let me remind you. We are looking at this is the case of a two-year-old baby girl who was defiled by a woman. Two years. Mama Jaylene, with all that has happened, she bribed her way out. She had three, she had three, three, three counts. It was supposed to be defilement, was supposed to be child, uh, abuse. Ch child abuse, and was supposed to be uh, indecent act. Indecent act. Now they dropped two charges. Now she got one. Now she's, she has been sentenced to three years in prison. Yes, What's and the even way? the indecent act, the indecent act, Nelson, mm -hmm. as I was going through, because after I got, I got, uh, after I was in court that day, even as I told you, I went through the Kenya law and I was looking at it and the indecent act is 10 years. But Nelson, will that 10 years bring any justice to my kid? No. At a talk after that 10 years, Akuja Patem to a rose, Afanya the same thing. They won't stop. Such people are inhuman, to be honest. Mm. Mm. Even as I'm crying, Nelson, I'm mm. not crying because of any other thing. Because 40 years, Nelson, mm. it won't change what happened to my kid. But as a mother, Nalilia, Watoto, Mama Wengine. Because I know how Absolutely. hard it is. Even Absolutely. for my worst enemy, Nelson, I wouldn't yeah. want such a thing. Even for Absolutely. my worst enemy. Absolutely. Because I know how it feels. You feel betrayed mm. because this is someone you used to trust. Mm -hmm. I normally don't keep friends anymore around me. Absolutely. Because it costed me my marriage. It costed me my child's dignity. It costed me a lot. My sanity... Mm. It costed me a lot. Absolutely. And there's no price she'll pay. That will make me feel contented, to be honest. But Absolutely. whatever the, the money they have taken, Nelson, I told 
the judge the the lawyer from fida mm -hmm. i suspect you remember i had put up with plug tv plug tv is a kenya plug tv used to be my friend kitambo kidogo nelson yeah I used to act anti-boss, so he used to come for extras. He's a friend to Mayweather. And when I told him, I remember I had to, I had reached out to Eve Munga, the same way I reached out to you. Mm. Everyone was like, Atutaki, Atutaki, Maselebua, anti-boss, Siju Atutaki, Nini, you know. Mm, 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 mm. And it was only really? you. Honestly, that's what they told me. Kwanza Eve Munga was very categorical. I mr that's a point yes exactly you know what don't i say that Melissa? you said don't that, that earlier on exactly was you that i was talking about this actually today Yes, when we started the show. Exactly. Oh dear, she. I can't understand what you are going here. It's all okay. You know what? You know what, Melissa? Because they are chasing dopamine. They are, you're chasing dopamine. They are chasing dopamine, and that's why. Listen to me. And I'm gonna say this again. I'm gonna say this again. This is what makes Vo TV such a unique platform because what we do here. What we do here, you never see this anywhere else. You need courage to deal with the kind of devils that I deal with here every day. You need wisdom. And above all, you need God. It's not easy. Just listen to the story of Mama Jay Ling. Yeah. Don't always talk about these so-called content creators in Kenya. You're chasing dopamine, man. You're chasing dopamine. But you know what? Dopamine will never build your legacy. But their time will I'm also come. I'm their telling time you. Will also a, come. A, time, a, a time will come and you'll be old. Yeah. And you look back at what all the nonsense you were doing and you'll feel so bad about yourself. Let it's me tell you always that. generation to generation. What I say, my wali rogewa watoto, but it's it's what they did. That's right. Mama Jaylene, you're such an inspiration. Don't we agree? We do. And very strong. Uh, let me read this comment from um, Brian Amasema. That woman was doing rituals. Let's talk about the issue of spiritual rituals, actually, because I've had those who remember when I was talking, when I was dealing with uh, the case of David, that was the same thing that we went through. And that's what we found out. It's true. Because they'll do tattoos and they'll cut, you know, they cut the skin. Remember that, that case, uh, Jaylene? Mama Jaylene, you remember? Yes, I do remember. But remember the way they like they even had the snake tattoo over here. Um, they had all these kind of different, and then they were sucking blood out of uh, the, um, both brothers. Uh, um, and when they killed, when they killed Davy, they kind of like the way the body was laying down. They had the the his blood was sprinkled around in a in a certain way. And when I when as we are doing all these investigation, I said automatically, "This, this is a ritual killing." When I look at when I look at your when I look at your baby, whatever this woman was doing with your baby, and I do believe that I do believe beyond any reasonable doubt that she she was doing it with her husband is also associated with this kind of ritual act. Because a normal at a police, the police, mm -hmm. the I O from Georgia was telling me. A normal husband after such an act, I see back here because what has 